Zelensky calls on Russians to protest and fight back against Putin's draft if they want to survive. Here's a summary of the article. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Thursday urged Russians to fight back against Russian President Vladimir Putin's mobilization of tens of thousands of reservists. 55,000 Russian soldiers died in this war in six months. Tens of thousands are wounded and maimed. Want more? No? Then protest. Fight back. Run away. Or surrender to Ukrainian captivity. These are options for you to survive, Zelensky said during his nightly address. Russian mothers have no doubt that the children of the top officials of your state will not be sent to the war against Ukraine. Those who make decisions in your country take care of their children. And they do not even bury your children, Zelensky added. Protests against mobilization took place in the cities of Russia, albeit not massive, but they took place. And they take place. And this is an indicator. Not only in Moscow and St. Petersburg. We know the real mood in the regions of Russia, Zelensky said in his address. Though Zelensky said 55,000 Russians have been killed in Ukraine since the war began, it's difficult to provide a precise death toll. Zelensky on Thursday said, Russia's decision on mobilization is a frank admission that their regular army, which has been prepared for decades to take over a foreign country, did not withstand and crumbled. And now, due to mobilization, Russia's war against Ukraine for the majority of Russian citizens is not something on TV or on the internet, but something that has entered every Russian home. Zelensky said it's time for Russians to choose. This post received a score of 55,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I mean Putin's already instituted a rifle for every protester policy. He's even helping you guys along. In words of Mikhail Khodorkovsky, Kremlin's defense forces are much less numerous and have worse equipment than Ukrainian army. I sometimes enjoy the US war machine. While I believe it will kill us all, it sways countries. Arsenal of freedom, baby. Bald eagle screech in the distance. Red-tail hawk screech in the distance eagles sound more like turkeys. It's absolutely hilarious that the bald eagle is the symbol of freedom but has the most pathetic bird call. You have nothing to lose but your chains. Good news as Molotovs are already flying into the windows of military registration and enlistment offices. Bad news as, this is probably where it ends. Has there ever been a forced conscription without protest? Probably the first one because people didn't know what was happening. My distant ancestor was conscripted by a local lord to try and take out the British monarchy. They lost, the lord was executed and we got banished to the American colonies. Oh yeah let's just put all the people who tried to kill the monarch in one place and tax them without representation they won't revolt or anything. I mean it lasted for a good century and a half. Future king's problem. Depends how far back I suppose. Guys, please don't come over cause you're gonna go back home in a shoebox. Go back home? Why? So Putin has to pay for some woman's larder? Mark it as Mia and call it day. The Ukrainians should put out videos and flyers to Russian people saying, join the Ukrainian army to help free Russia. Ukraine needs to produce the modern version of the World War II safe conduct pass. Isn't Ukraine kinda doing that? I have seen that they have telephone numbers and social messenger accounts where you can contact him to surrender. And Ukraine seems to treat the POWs okay? So I would say it's kinda similar to a safe conduct pass, or not. Ukraine is even dropping flyers of it to enemies. The essential difference is the conscripts aren't going to be deployed with personal cell phones. But of course they will still desert in far greater proportion, and plenty of them will frag their COs too. Greater than plenty of them will frag their COs too. One of the few moral things a Russian soldier can do in Ukraine. I left a soldier. I returned a free man. Russia is sending lambs to the slaughter. If the regular Russian forces couldn't do it when they still had moderately effective equipment. These 1 million draftees aren't going to do shit with WW2 Cold War era equipment LMAO. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.